Straight all day. Straight all day. Ballovercees.com, ball overseas basketball blueprint. Let me ask you a question. All you players who are, you know, prospective professional basketball players, meaning you're trying to get on, but you're not on yet. You want to get on, you're not on yet. And it's, it's raining out here in Miami, but I'm doing this for y'all. I ain't doing this for me. I'm doing this for y'all. This thing, I already know these things. This is why I'm talking about them. Do you really want to play basketball overseas? Right, is this something that you seriously want to do? And I'm pausing there because I want you to really think about it before you answer the question. I know your default answer is yes, of course, I want to play overseas. That's why I'm watching the video. That's why I follow your stuff. That's why I'm working on my game every day. But I'm asking seriously, do you seriously want to play? Because I'll tell you something that I know about people. And for those of you who don't know, you know what I do overall in business, it is not you know, talking about overseas basketball. It's something that I talk about because I see that there's a, a void out here. It ain't, it's not hardly anybody really giving y'all solid, serious, real information about how the overseas game works, aside from either trying to sell you something or they're trying to you know, impress you with what they're doing. I'm just trying to give y'all the real straight up. I have nothing that I need to gain from any of you, but this is something that I want to put out there because when I was trying to come on, this is giving y'all a little bit of uh, understanding of why I'm doing this. When I was trying to get on, coming out of a D3, there was zero information. Now is information most of it came from me, and I'm not saying that to toot my own horn, but it's the fucking truth. Most of the information about playing overseas is information I put out, all right? And there's people still, there's people putting out information now, and it is not even relevant to most of y'all, because most of y'all don't have their backgrounds, and y'all can't do what they did. So I'm trying to give it to y'all from somebody who didn't have anything in their favor. So for those of you who are in that situation, uh, you're not coming out of a, a D1 school, you don't have an agent, and you're trying to play overseas. You've been trying to get an agent, but ain't no agent interested in you because you didn't play D1. You don't have any game film. All right, you want to play overseas, but no team's interested in you because you don't have any game film. You don't have any kind of pedigree. My question to you, I'm going to ask it again. Do you really want to play professional basketball overseas? Because if you do, let me explain something to you that I have said this before. So if you heard me say this before, don't be mad, but sometimes in life you got to repeat things. Like you ever talk to somebody and you tell them something and then they hear, they heard you, but they don't do it. And then you got to tell them the same shit again. And you might have to tell them five times before they actually get it. Okay. So has anybody ever had to tell you something more than once before you actually got it? Of course. So if you ever hear me repeating myself, understand that's why. Because us human beings, we got hard heads. I got to tell people things more than one time. You got to tell people things more than one time. We got to tell each other things more than one time to get it. Here's the thing. If you are not coming out of a D1 school, if you do not have or a, a, a high level, let's say a mid or high level D2 where you got some solid game film and you were on the team that was successful, like going to at least doing something in their conference tournament. If that's the background that you're coming from, you're not coming from that. You didn't play D1, D2. You haven't played overseas yet. You don't have any real good game film, but you want to play overseas. Understand something. You have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in yourself. What do I mean by investing in yourself? I mean, you need to go somewhere where decision makers are at and you got to get yourself seen. Usually this is in, in some form of an exposure camp or a combine or some type of tryout or whatever word they want to use to describe it. That's basically what it is. An exposure camp is an event, for those who don't know, where players who want to play pro, they all show up. You all play ball with and against each other. The people who watch are the decision makers who can help you get a deal. If you have not played overseas yet, you have not played D1, you don't have any game film, therefore no agent is going to be interested in you. And if you don't know that, you can find out for yourself. You can take my word for it or you probably already know because you've been trying. No agent has been taking your call or returning your email or giving you any use, anything that you really want to hear besides telling you, hey, go to a camp or hey, get some film or hey, you know, you could pay me $300 a month and then you can get this information. You don't want to hear none of that. That's because you don't have anything. You don't have any collateral. And I've talked about, again, I've talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it again. You got to have some kind of collateral. Collateral is game film or some type of proof that you can play somewhere at a high level and it's, it's vetted third-party material. Game film is third-party material. All right, so your stats from somewhere that you play is, is third-party material, meaning you could tell me, go on the website for the, the ACC and I can see your stats from your three years that you played at Duke or North Carolina or Florida State or whatever the situation has is. If you don't have that, you got to go somewhere. You got to go to a camp and you got to ball out at that camp. And then you got to get the film from there and the scouting report from there and the stats from there. 
and proof that you can actually play. You got to have proof, ladies and gentlemen. This is the game. And I know y'all, some of y'all heard me talk about this before, but I got to keep talking about it because I keep getting questions from players who obviously have not heard this yet. Either they haven't heard it or they just didn't listen. All right, one or the other. So I'm going to be saying this forever as long as I'm talking about overseas basketball. You got to invest in yourself. Now ask yourself this question. Have I invested in myself? If you didn't have the talent or the pedigree or the, the marketing skills to get a D1 scholarship so you could play somewhere where you wouldn't need to go to a camp, have you done Have you done what you need to do to make up that difference? As a player who went D1 or a high D2, they got footage, they have you know, the pedigree, meaning they played at that level and the overseas team can see that. Therefore, that team would be interested in signing them just off of that information alone. If you don't have that, what are you willing to do to make up that gap? Because if you're coming out of a, a D3 or a JUCO or an NAIA or you didn't play college at all, and there's another guy who went to a, a D1 or a D2, and they have footage and they got stats, and y'all are both trying to get a job, why would I, if I run an overseas team, why would I sign you? This guy is more proven. He's got a stronger pedigree. I know he's played against high-level competition. You haven't done any of those things. Why would I sign you? Why? It's a trick question, ladies and gentlemen. I would not sign you. I wouldn't even think about signing you. Why would I even think about signing you? You ain't done nothing. You have no proof that you can play at a high level. How do you close this gap? And understand, I'm not saying this to shit on you or make you feel bad. I was that player who had that. I was the one down here. There was a gap between me and the player who had done something. I had to clean up that gap. How do I, or not clean up, close that gap? How do I close that gap? I had to invest in myself. I had to save up my money. I had to go to an exposure camp. And then I had to play and do my thing at that exposure camp. Just going to the camp alone wasn't good enough. I had to do my thing on the court at that camp. And that was what was able to close that gap. Ask my question again. I'm asked the same question I asked in the title. Same question I'm asking you right now. Are you serious about playing professional basketball overseas? Do you really want to play? Because if you do and you don't have that pedigree, then you got to close that gap by going and doing something which is going to cost you money, it's going to cost you time, but these are not just expenses, these are investments. They're investments that they pay you back. They're expenses if you get nothing out of it. Now, whether it becomes an expense or an investment depends on how you perform out there on that court. Hopefully, I ain't got to say this again, but I'm 98% sure I will. But I'm, gonna say it, I'm saying it now just so nobody can say they haven't heard me say it. Now, if you have not yet gotten your free copy of this book right here called The Overseas Basketball Blueprint, Go to balloverseas.com. The link is down in the video description. Claim your copy of the book. The book is already paid for. All you do is cover a small shipping charge. This is your first investment, okay? And I made the book free. I used to sell this book for $50 on Amazon. That's a true story. I made the book free. All you do is cover a small shipping charge. We ship the book to you worldwide. You read the book. That's your investment. Read the book. Then do what the book is telling you to do. Is that easy enough? Is there anything about that that you can't do? Good. Work on your game. Enjoy all day.